The historic songwriters venue, The Bluebird Cafe, is joining forces with the Recording Industry Association of America to help launch a few new stars in Nashville. Monday nights are dubbed Open Mic Night, where these currently unknown acts get a few short minutes on a stage that has already launched countless music careers. They say when you play at The Bluebird, you never know who's in the room, but now with this new venture, you'll know that label representatives will definitely be there to give a listen. We caught up with a few of the key players to hear all about this new endeavor. Today we're announcing our partnership with the RIAA, the Recording Industry Association of America, on behalf of the Nashville member labels. And it's a, it's a partnership that shows the industry's support of the Bluebird and our developing talent. It's spectacular on two levels. Number one, it brings back the idea and, and kind of makes real the concept that the Bluebird is a place where people are discovered. Some great careers have started here, Garth Brooks. Taylor Swift, some brilliant careers, and it, it makes that real and it sort of codifies the fact that Nashville and our people will be in here on a regular basis looking for uh, great new talent. The other thing is it, it uh, helps uh, kind of continue the partnership that the music industry started to get into where in, in the past perhaps publishers and labels have had antagonistic relationships. We're all working together to make the music business uh, a better place to be, a better place to work and, and to serve uh, customers and fans better. They got wedding bells ringing down a busy Boston sidewalk. Crowds of people cheering as the limousine drives off. We're moving from a world that was dominated by units to one that will be dominated by access and performance rights and other things and new ways to monetize music. And that's really exciting. I think we're going to see a very successful future. But at the core, it all starts with that song. And it starts at an incubator. And this is the greatest incubator for music in the, in the history of our country. That's my blessing, yeah, my curse. I grow up. I grow old in a world that's populated by your verse. Knowing I was your first. The Bluebird's 29 years old. It'll be our 30th year next year. And was kind of at the, the pivotal point with songwriters shows. It was where um, Amy Curlin tells me the very first in the round was ever performed. Don't you worry, love. The Bluebird is irreplaceable, I think. It's just such a sense of community. I think uh, so many of us come from uh, towns where, you know, this is considered, you know, being a songwriter might be considered be a, a pipe dream. And you, you come here and there's, I always say that we're a bunch of misfits and we kind of wind up together here and we, uh, we get to just love what we do and we get to support each other. And the Bluebird, I think, is kind of, you know, the centerpiece for that. Well, I was coming to the end of a long, long walk when a man crawled out of a cardboard box under the East Street Bridge and followed me on to it. The essence of our purchase slash gift from Amy was that, that the Bluebird is never going to really change. So the experience of coming to the Bluebird, there are still folks, although we've, we've uh, owned it for years, there are still folks who don't know that, that the NSAI uh, took over, which is exactly what we want. We, we don't want to change the experience of listening to quiet acoustic music and paying attention to the people who really create the songs. I don't think people realize how music is the soundtrack to their lives in so many ways, you know, and hear songs that inspire, uh, you know, not only yourselves, but but uh, uh, people in general. Looking at me now, you might not know it, but I've had my moments. This sponsorship, I think, is is hopefully just the beginning of a, of a long uh, and prosperous uh, collaboration and, and creativity and music in Nashville. And Erica, thank you for your leadership and uh, Bart and Steve, thank you for everything you're doing. We look forward to working with everybody, and uh, let's rock on. For those that have been working to try and earn a living in this crazy music industry, this new venture will hopefully give them a leg up, or at least an ear in the business. For more information, check out bluebirdcafe.com. 
That about does it for this week's Inside Music Row. Don't forget those new Jason Michael Carroll numbers discs we have up for grabs. If you want to enter this week's drawing, you have to enter online at InsideMusicRow.com. Now, for all the latest news and events, you can always check us out on Facebook, too. We're going to leave you today with a classic from Jason Michael Carroll, Live in Our Love Song. Don't miss out next week when we take a look back at some of our most popular segments this year. Until next time, I'm Bailey for Inside Music Row, and I'll see you again real soon.